What's up everyone, welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 8 of our Tic-Tac-Toe AI series on Scratch 3, so let's get coding. Just finished coding. Now quick interjection here, if you've not watched parts 1 to 7, please watch them before you come here because we're picking up from where we left off and you'll be very, very lost. I'll leave a card for you right here. Please watch the videos and then come right back. Now, if you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched parts 1 to 7, in which case you should already have a pretty smart AI. But the problem is that sometimes the AI actually messes up and you can actually defeat it. So that's what we'll be fixing in um, this video and then in the next video we'll be finalizing it with the end screens and also a few more danger positions. So I'm going to start off the code with something that I actually forgot to do in the last video and uh, you want to head over to the initializer sprite and then you want to duplicate this entire thing and just keep this delete all of danger pauses. And uh, what I mean is I didn't delete all the uh, positions of like position 3, position 4, position 5 and all that right at the beginning. And uh, because of that, those uh, lists are going to have what they had before the game started itself. And they're just going to have way more elements that they, uh, than what they should have. And this is going to lead to a whole bunch of bugs which you'll have basically no idea how to fix if we actually move on without doing this. So you want to add in or delete all of danger pause uh, up till 10. So I have 5, 6, uh, I'm going to duplicate all of this so that I have 4 of them, um, 7, 8, 9 and uh, finally 10. There we are. And uh, now I'm going to put them all with the code uh, where I said delete all of danger pauses. All right, there we are. So oopsie, not add a comment. I actually wanted to clean up and as it turns out, it's already cleaned up. Perfect. So now what I actually want to do is to head over to the computer sprite and actually code in the hard-coded move that we're going to make in each of those danger positions cases. So scroll down all the way where you have this danger pause 1 to 8. I actually made a mistake right there. It's actually danger pauses 1 to 10, um, but you could leave it as you want. I'm just going to rename this by right-clicking and clicking edit, but really, uh, frankly speaking, that's going to make no difference. So the first thing I'll do is to actually change this if to an if else. And I think I mentioned this in the previous video, uh, but uh, just for convenience sake, I left an if because I didn't want to leave the else empty. So you want to change that to an if else, and then you want to exactly duplicate that and put that right inside. Now I'm going to remove this or and just have one element or rather one condition within that if. And uh, what I'm going to do is to now check condition for danger pause three. So if the danger position is three and that position is the list, then the move I'm going to be making is two. Now I'm going to duplicate this once again, change this to danger pause four. And in this case, the move I'm making is going to be eight. Now, if you didn't copy me exactly and you did not have like the same sets as in if the position, uh, as in like the different position of the board, like uh, let's just say one, uh, five and nine were like X, O and X respectively, and you didn't have that in danger pause one, for example, just hypothetically, then you do not want to copy me exactly. And what you want to do is to actually check back to your, uh, check your initializer sprite for the exact code. So in my case, like danger pause three is these three particular um, uh, squares having these three letters in them. And you want to check what uh, danger pause you had it for you. So in case you set danger pause four to be this set, then what you want to do is to within your, like your computer AI, you want to set whatever I'm doing for danger pause three to be danger pause four. I like, I hope that made some sense uh, because if you have like a different danger position set up, then your AI is going to make really stupid moves and that's not the point of this entire exercise. All right, so now let's continue. So if danger position is five, then I am going to set the move to be two. If the danger position is six, uh, you can just right click and change that in case you're wondering what I'm doing. In case the danger position is six, I'm going to set the move to be four. In case the danger position is seven, then I am going to be setting the move to be six, I believe. Uh, if the danger position is eight, then I am going to be setting the move to eight. Um, if the danger position is nine, I'm going to set the move to be four. 
And lastly, if the danger position is 10, and I'm not going to duplicate that, instead I'm just going to have an if then. I'm going to duplicate just the condition and the code so that I don't have an empty uh, else statement. So finally, if the danger position is 10, then the move is going to be 8. Perfect. Now that was a lot of code. And uh, if you actually want to code this in with an algorithm, I highly recommend you try it out. Uh, the algorithm is basically um, going to tell you to actually threaten to win uh, in, by placing the um, O in one of the edges. And the edges are like the corners which are not the diagonal corners. So that's square number two, four, six, and eight. Now you could do that with an algorithm and I initially wanted to have that incorporated into this tutorial, but I found that just hard coding this in makes it so much easier for this particular step of the algorithm. So I just saw this is an easier step and it gives you the exact same result. So this is going to be a better way of doing things. So now when we finally test out our code, now you can see when I actually try to win the exact same way I tried to win earlier, now we can see it makes a smart move and actually prevents us from winning. And uh, that would be it for this short tutorial. Now I just want to warn you right here that there is a couple of ways in uh, through which the player can defeat the computer. And I highly recommend you try it out and try to like find the chick, uh, chink in the armor of the computer AI. But we will be having a couple of more changes to the algorithm and also the end screens before we finally wind up with our tic-tac-toe AI. And that's it we'll be coding in this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.